So I, I, I have I have a confession I have to make you that ass. Go ahead. In this climate of, of, of beta males and alpha males, bro, and in this jungle full of survivors. Yeah. It's hard for me to be an alpha male so when my face looks like this. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, when I have my beard, like, I could intimidate someone, I think. You know what I mean? Like, do you think I could intimidate yeah. someone? Yeah, like, yeah, I, I definitely Go can. ahead, give me an intimidating face. Give us an intimidating face. Not with this face. beard, bro, but Just I can't. Just do it. I want to see It looks so it. bad. Like, if I'm actually it. angry? Yeah. Like, yo, you got a fucking problem, bro? What's up with you? Huh? Go make me a sandwich, dog. What you doing sitting here? Men are the only one allowed to watch videos, all right? You go to the kitchen, make me something stupid. You stupid? You would look like a typical ass hero if it's insane. Come on, bro. I don't see that shit, bro. Like, why you got maybe insecure for shaving my beard, bro? Like, no one could just let you have a good time, man. Like, for real? I didn't want to do this. I was forced to, all right? Call me an alpha. Call me a bitch. Whatever you want. I was forced to shave this shit. But it's coming back. All right, let's find out how alpha males act. And let's see if your boy follows, follows under what category. So f We're talking about alpha males so much, but let's face it. Men who can project the vibe of an alpha are incredibly desirable. Relax. There's no let's way around relax. it. If you were viewed as alpha, girls are going to go crazy for you. So what I'm going to share with you guys today are... <laughs> yo, facts. So people be like, yo, Jay, you got money or something? You got, you know what I mean? Like, so was a W. How'd you pull her? She pulled me, dog. What you talking about? Yo, I'm the prize in this yo. shit. I'm the prize in this. Can you calm? I'm the prize in this. Can one. you calm your ego over here? Not bad, bro. I just so much. Alpha males do things a little That's bit differently. That's With that said, let's get right no. in. No, come on, bro. Uh, first up at number one <laughs> is acknowledging his weaknesses. Most people, when they hear the word alpha, tend to think of some perfectly sculpted, almost godlike human being that has no flaws and never does anything wrong. But this is actually far from the truth of how alpha males really are in the real world. And despite what you might have been told, alpha males are not supremely confident in every Every situation that they encounter and there are many times where they are actually less than alpha but instead of pretending that they don't have any flaws alpha males actually acknowledge these flaws which is what makes them different and what makes them stand out one of the most terrifying things for something like 99 percent of men is the thought of a girl finding out about his weaknesses or his flaws now the truth is that a lot of guys have some issues with confidence and self-esteem especially in certain situations and one of the greatest fears that many of us have especially as it pertains to dating is a girl finding out about these flaws true alphas can acknowledge their flaws especially in front of girls and it's this is precisely what makes them alpha. Undesirable men are those who constantly. Do, do I ever mention flaws? About yourself? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Like more like I would say more like emotional than physical. If that makes sense. No, you do. What are you talking about? This man used to be so skinny. He gained a little bit of weight, and every day he's like, "Damn, I need to hit the." Th I no, hit the gym. No, you look. Good like this. Hey, you look see. good like this. And their flaws in the form of anger or defensiveness when they feel that those man. flaws are being Trust. exposed. I personally am terrified so. of spiders. And in the eyes of a female, that would be viewed as a flaw or a fuck, weakness. I'm because scared I of spiders. What the fuck? Tiny spider. How on earth am I going to protect her from some crazy Wait, guy who's number trying two? to grab her and throw her in the back oh. of a van? Now, I personally may never get over my fear of spiders, and I am personally okay with that. I can accept that. Alpha males know their flaws or weaknesses or things that they aren't good at and might never be good at, and they have no problem admitting them to other people. Number two, alphas face. See, but I would disagree with that type. I feel like, yeah, he, he's, he's on a point right here, right? Uh, alpha males or whatever you want to say. I don't even like to use the term, to be honest with you. But, like, people in general, like, strong-minded people, yeah, they could identify their weaknesses or the problems and stuff like that. But I'm the type of person where I work towards those problems or weaknesses. You know what right. I mean? Like, if I, if I, like, there's some things I can't change, right? Like, a, a, a flaw. I know I got a, a big nose, <sighs> all right? It's, 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 like it's not going to go anywhere. It's on my face. So what, but there's you know I can it, do and you don't And I just don't give a fuck about yep. it. Yeah, I just and know it's there. I'm like, you like, you like, you don't, you don't. I don't really care. But, like, when you got other shit where it's like, you know, say I'm feeling weak or something like that. Or, or you know, here for an example. Honestly, you want to know why I started doing YouTube? It's because, like, I was feeling like, you know, I wasn't doing shit while life had a point. You know what I mean? And and, and I've just, I just I want to dedicate my time to something. Found a passion to actually fuck with. Like, you know what I mean? That's that's the proper way of approaching situations. You got a weakness, you got something, you attack that shit. And I'm not even joking. You feel weak, go to the gym. You want to lose weight, do something. Like, you play a sport. You know what I mean? Find something productive to do all day. That's, that's, I don't know if I was being an alpha. I'm not trying to be an alpha, but that's just 
being smart fears. Every single Speaking one of us has things that enough, we real. fear. And the only way to completely destroy those fears is to face them. That's kind of like what I just said. Yeah. We face in our daily life are created and perpetuated by our own fear. But our fears in pretty much every situation are completely irrational. And for most of us, one of our greatest fears is being judged or laughed at by other people. Now sure, it would definitely suck if we messed something up and people laughed at us, but it's not the end of the world. Other people are far more concerned with their own problems and their own fears and their own insecurities to really care that much about the one time that we dropped our lunch in the middle of the cafeteria. He's not good at drawing. As I said earlier, one of my greatest <laughs> like, fears is. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know how we got from this piece of shit I was drawing to this. That we dropped our lunch in the middle of the cafeteria <laughs> you know what I mean? school. Now, as I said earlier, one of my greatest fears is spiders. And I know you're probably secretly laughing at me right now, or you at least thought about it. Bro, but spiders are scary as shit. Fear. Every day we face an endless barrage of fears. And the greatest difference between the way an average person acts and the way that an alpha acts is that an alpha is constantly facing more fears than he is hiding from. Projecting an alpha vibe is not about one single action, but rather the sum of all of your actions. The other day, a few seconds after I got into my car, a huge spider that was like the size of a golf ball dropped down from my rear view mirror and almost landed in my lap. And you better believe that as I dived out of my car, I was almost screaming like a little girl. So is that gonna subtract a few points off of my alpha score? Of course. Fuck yeah. But for the rest of the day, I ended up facing many other fears and took many important risks that I needed to in order to succeed and improve in my life. And the only thing that matters is the sum of your actions. And as long as you face your fears far more often than you hide from them, you will be able to project the sort of vibe that you see from alphas. Number three, Never run, I, I just want to go back. You see this chart right here, that little yeah. boot dancers run away? Never run away. Right. You got to take your ass beating, you take your ass beating. You grow from your beating. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, but uh, yeah. Them, you will be able to project the sort of vibe What's that you, you see from alphas. Are you Number three, alpha males trust I'm themselves. Sorry. You just said that and you looked at me and you seemed like... Like a... An inspirational speaker. No, because I'm a very <laughs> strong-minded person. It's what it is. Okay. It's so simple, right? But how many of us regularly trust our own decisions? At the end of the day, success in almost anything that we do is a result of trusting ourselves and our decisions. Am I sad that this channel doesn't get as many views as it used to? Of course I am. But at the same time, I trust myself, and I trust that with your guys' support, I will eventually figure it out, wherever that path ends up taking me. Now, every single one of us is the captain of our own boat, and we might get help from other people in the form of knowledge from videos like this. But in the end, we are the captain, and we have to steer our own boat. It's one only in your hands, boss. the things that you can do when you're trying to live your life more like, like an alpha is to be passive. <laughs> I'm an audience right now. I'm just like watching you watch this video about yourself, and I'm here like- But do you, can you not relate to any of these things? No, honestly, at the end of this video, I was gonna say I'm a fucking alpha man. <laughs> and to let other people decide your life and to make your decisions for you. The truth is that nobody knows your boat or your life or what's best for you better than you do. So every time you're given a chance to steer your own boat or somebody else, like a girlfriend, indirectly asks you to steer their boat, take advantage of these opportunities to show others just how alpha you can be. That Number ass. four, alpha males know when to leave it alone. A lot of people he think that alpha males are these incredible. Yo, you don't Yo, know how to leave it alone. Cross this out Yo, dead ass, what do you mean? Cross. No, I do leave it alone, so I give you the last word half the times now. This is like, not about me and you, this is about just you and life. You don't know how to leave it alone. What do you mean by that? Give an example. <laughs> I'm like, not bro, giving I, it I don't really know what you mean by that, though. Right, like, yeah. I really don't know what you Let's mean by that. Let's see what he means All right. by men who are always picking fights with people, and the truth is that true <laughs> alphas are nothing like this. Always remember that the vibe of an alpha is calm and powerful. And this type of man is rarely ever aggressive and in your face. In fact, this type of behavior is Yo, this dude talking out of the opposite of what these people are trying to convey. Typically, when somebody exaggerates something, it is normally because they are trying to compensate for a lack of not having that very thing. Such as trying to project the image of being rich. It is usually because they are trying to compensate for a lack of that very thing. But that's not like, all right, so, you know. I would say I try to avoid all, and I don't like the fight. I don't like any of that stuff. I just, just have kind of like anger. Like I, I get angry fast, right? I never f like flex or front or act a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's all genuine. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like acting rich. I never would act rich, or, right. or you know what I mean. I'll never act tough. 
I don't I don't do like it's yeah, not for it's that's not for an one image. Thing I give it to you. You don't you like don't it's have. it's not for an image at all. It's just who I am. The way I think of like I don't know. I pride myself. I think I'm pretty like strong minded or something like that. It's not according to this acting tough or act. There's no acting involved. It's just being as genuine as you could be, and at the same time not letting people step over you or walk over you or you know what I mean. Like demand your respect. If I'm gonna give respect to everybody and I and I and I give respect to everybody from right 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 off the gun. If I don't get that same respect back, it's just not, we're just not cool. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna fight you or nothing. Then you start disrespecting, then there's a problem. It's not that difficult. You know what I mean? It's Great like thing. something that many guys who do this have in common is that they are overly aggressive, and they are the types of guys who will easily start a fight with someone over something. Yeah, I don't like starting fights. Yeah. Many are insecure, are never start quick fights. to anger, and they might try to start a fight with you just for looking at them wrong. Something you have to remember I is don't. that alpha energy oh, is calm, powerful. I don't. <laughs> I've never started a fight ever. It's always been people. Okay. okay. I've never started a fight. I've never had. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Troll. And one of the greatest differences between men who have an alpha vibe and men who don't is the ability to leave it alone. I know that's probably what many of you tell your dog when he's barking at something he shouldn't be barking at, but it's kind of the same thing with men. Oh my God. Throughout life, you will have many situations where people try to get under your skin, usually because they're mad about their own life and problems they're having for some other really trivial reason. And one of the things that truly sets the alpha apart is knowing when it's better to leave something such as a problem alone. Something that alphas are really good at is risk assessment, so they are able to quickly determine whether something is worth conflict or not. If you look down a dark alley, of course. you see a girl getting robbed by some guy and there's no one else around, the phrase leave it obviously wouldn't apply here. But imagine you're in another situation where a guy steps on your shoes and when you tell him to watch where he's going, he goes into fight mode. Yeah, in this, this situation, is so true. obviously, it wouldn't make yeah. a lot of sense to get into a fight over a pair so of serious, shoes unless, of course, they stepped on your new pair of white mules. Then it might actually be worth it. But all jokes aside, alphas know when the risk far outweighs the reward. Or they know when to leave it alone or when to pursue it. Number five, alphas compete with themselves. Now, this is going to go against everything that you've ever heard about alpha males, but a true alpha yeah, is not always with in competition me. with other people, but with himself. These I'm days, a not myself for sure. It's, a, it's like a problem. If you swipes of your thumb, you can find someone who appears to be living a life that is at least a hundred times better than the one that you're living. Alpha males actually love competition, but they primarily compete with themselves first and foremost. A true alpha wakes up in the morning and asks himself, him. not how can I be better than Dan from Instagram, but how can I be a little bit better by the end of today than I was the day before? If our primary competition is, is other people, this message. is a battle that we will never win. But if instead we focus on competing and outdoing ourselves, this is far more realistic and it will have a much more positive impact on our confidence levels and how we feel about ourselves in the long run. This has been five subtle behaviors of true alpha males. And with that said, until next time, thank you guys. Am I an alpha male, Soph? You're rating me. You're, you're, I just took the exam. I feel like whatever I the, rate you, you're just I'm, I'm not going to say nothing. I'll just keep my mouth shut. You're I, like I don't, listen, I don't, I, I'm being so serious. I don't want to be an alpha male. I don't want to be, I don't think it's cool to be like, girl, bro. I'm a fucking alpha man, bro. Yo, what's <laughs> up? Let me see your chick, man. Yeah, turn your ass. Like, Listen, no, that's not, bro. I just want it's to... not cool. It's not cool to be an alpha male. It's I don't even know if an alpha, like, you know what I mean? It's just cool to stand up for yourself. That's how I look at being an alpha male. You're a man. I like that answer. That was the best answer you could have gave me. You're a man. That's the best answer you could have gave me. You're the man. You're, that's even the, even the better. <laughs> that's the best of the better answers. Because <laughs> I really, me too. I'm on your boat. I don't like. I that. don't like the name alpha. I don't male. like the phrase alpha. Yeah, me because neither. It's like it's like you. I, it's it's, it's, like, it's like an ego thing. Yes. It's like you think you're like you know what I mean like like. Like, but he didn't describe in his video as that. It's just like labeling a ter purpose. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think I have a different type of thinking than most other people. Like, I have, I have rules in my head that I follow by that's like above law. You know what I mean? If I feel like someone's right, I don't care if I have to get like arrested for it. Like, it's just like I, I know what's right within me, and that's how I live my life. You know what I mean? I'm not a bad guy. I live like my life as a, as as to be a good person. I don't want to go around thinking like. Yeah, bro, like, you know, I'm the fucking man, dog. Like, yo, watch your bitch, man. Hey, watch your fucking bitch, well, she's you, been looking at me, you man. Sound, I'm not gonna even say. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> all right, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure. I am a man, not an alpha man. All right, I guess. You're my man. And we out, baby. Peace.